So I'm going to make some wild predictions for 2023, 2024. Now, when I started betting against all my rugby friends from different countries, I said South Africa is going to win the World Cup in 2023. In fact, I knew they would. I'm so, so passionate about it. Put money down and I collected from French friends, from British friends, from all black uh, supporters, from Australian friends. Made good money. I think uh, close on to about $1,000 uh, and they won by one point. So I'm going to make some very wild predictions here. And uh, let's see at the end of 2024. I want to go back to this video. I challenge all of the other YouTubers to make a video of the same nature. And obviously it revolves around the gig world, around rideshare drivers and around food delivery drivers. So my first prediction, churn and burn. Uber and Lyft and all of these companies are spending an absolute, absolute fortune trying to funnel new drivers in. And generally, the shelf life of a driver is pretty short. It's anywhere from two weeks to two months. When they start doing the math and they see that in 2023 and in 2024, the numbers ain't adding up, they out. And guess what? This costs the companies a fortune. I mean, they are spending a fortune on marketing companies trying to intercept all the students, all the immigrants, all the first timers and try to get them into that churn and burn machine. I see a radical change by the gig industry away from this churn and burn uh, method. I think they are going to start um, Try, they're going to try and make every effort to keep veterans, start incentivizing veterans. Um, and I do believe there will be some modifications in pricing. And when I, mean, when I say pricing, the way they uh, remunerate or pay the drivers, because they're going to figure out that, you know, paying $166 for a four and a half hour trip is not going to keep a driver paying onesies and twosies for little short eight, nine, 10 minute trips is not going to keep a driver. Paying a food delivery driver $2, including tips for a food delivery driver is not going to keep a driver. So they're going to do the math, I think in 2024 and realize, you know what? All of that money that we're putting into marketing just to keep this machine going, right? With this high churn and burn rate, Let's start rethinking things. So around that, I can't actually pinpoint exactly how they're going to do it. But I think they will be addressing this churn and burn rate big time. The next one, ladies and gentlemen, legal issues. Legal issues are going to go through the roof in 2024, including um, the law firms that I've brought on board. We're going to file more and more wrongful deactivation suits than ever before. We filed 2,500 to date. There are going to be so many more sexual discrimination, sexual abuse, sexual harassment cases. And I here I just want to say thank you to all of the brave and courageous women and men that came forward that told us their story at giglawyers.com. We funneled your stories to the attorneys. An appropriate, an appropriate action will take place. But I, I, see, I see them being hammered over the head in 2024, especially now that wage theft came out big time in the news. They, they screwed over New York drivers, 328 million. I think a lot of other states are going to start investigating this. How much does Uber or Lyft or DoorDash or these others, how much do they owe us in money? And they're going to be filing suits. I also see way more um, people, riders and drivers that have been sexually harassed or abused step forward. There's one big case with 80 that started. That is the starting point. When I just look at the thousands and thousands of drivers that registered at giglawyers.com, our site to represent drivers in lawsuits, 
is an avalanche coming in 2024. Safety, right? Um, you saw that they are now finally, finally waking up and addressing safety, right? There's this big talk, this big announcement. Sergio did a phenomenal job highlighting what safety features they're going to be bringing out. And they're going to be, you know, they can't afford to have these 12, 15 and 18 year olds on uh, using third party, uh, third party people using original accounts and carjacking people and ending up in the news every single day. So here, uh, what's going to happen as long as drivers um, take those stories, right? This is your job. You've got to take these stories, whether it's a carjacking here or a murder there or a stabbing and retweet it. Put it in Facebook groups. Make videos. The only way we put relentless pressure on these gig companies when it comes to safety and, and, and forcing them to, to, to actually change their ways is when drivers work together and use social media. We are so powerful. Do not underestimate the power that you have turning to social media. Each and every single safety story or safety failure by these companies needs to be blown out into the media. Please do not stop. You're doing a great job. We're at a point right now where they just came out. And again, Sergio did a great job um, showing this right in his video that um, they want to finally address safety. I think, ladies and gentlemen, that we've banged them over the heads so many times. We've beaten that drum so loud, nonstop, so many times that it's finally resonating in their small little skulls, right? Their skulls are about to explode. Oh my God, another safety issue, another news story, another news story, another news story. They're only to blame, ladies and gentlemen. The companies are only to blame. Finally, 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 and this has to be nationwide, this has to be worldwide, we need ID checks, right? We'll need real names, real photos. We need those riders verified, right? That's a huge one. Everybody's talking about it. Every YouTuber is making videos about it. That Uber and Lyft has to follow suit and DoorDash has to follow suit. Those riders, those people ordering need to be verified. You cannot... I repeat, you cannot in 2024 have some young thug on the platform, right, with some crazy ass fake name hijacking a driver that needs to end. And I think they're finally, finally there after we smacked them, smacked them against the head a thousand times, a thousand times over. I think it's starting to ring in the ears and they're finally waking up that they need to do something about safety. So big prediction there. Unions. There's all this talk of unions forming. Associations that used to be organizations, unions that used to be rather fractured are coming together. The legal talk on the street is that states, individuals are, are, are rallying together, forming these unions, more protections, more rights for drivers. So I see a big, big, big uh, shift. Um, my prediction for 2024, we're going to see some of the first national unions take place protecting drivers whether you like it or not like it right and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be an employee um, they will find ways they will find the legal language to form unions for independent contractors next big prediction right is that when uber starts looking and they have all these highly educated people working for them doing the math running the numbers looking at the data when they figure out, when they figure out all the money that they spend on Tony West and Lindsay Llewellyn, uh, the, the head attorneys and their legal teams and their armies of attorneys, when they look at all of the costs, they're going to say to themselves, is it really worth going to war, going to legal battles with all of these drivers and riders? Or should we maybe start changing things? And here, I think this is the, probably one of the most successful models out there is the state of Washington where they fought long and hard, right? It didn't come overnight. It came with multiple strikes, multiple protests, drivers rising up, and they have a framework that is working for those drivers. I see 
legislation being duplicated along these lines in 2024 for multiple states. Um, big shift in, um, in New York. I think California, we're going to see some big changes. But gradually, legislation is going to change, right? And politicians are going to be forced. And there could be a big mix-up in 2024 in politics. We don't know. We don't know who's going to win between Biden and Trump. We don't know if Biden's going to choose a different running mate or if, if who the front runner is. Is it going to be Christie? Is it going to be Trump in 2024? So here things could change big time. And I think to the better or for the better of drivers. Next big one. Right. So here um, on 11.10, just four days ago, Dara Koshashawi, Director and Chief Executive Officer, uh, on November the 9th, sold 100,000 shares in Uber Technologies for $5 million. Following the form for filing with the SEC, Koshashawi has control over a total of 1,216,243 shares of the company with 1,216,243 shares held directly. So, you know, pumping up or the Uber buybacks to keep that stock price up. Uh, Dara Koshoshawi knows exactly when to sell at the high. Um, he, he gets all the data. So I think we're going to see even more sales, right? He's, he's, he's offloaded 100,000 shares. He has still, you know, after that, he should still have 1.1 million. So I, in 2024, um, actually see the Uber stock go all the way up to $60 if they make certain changes. I think it's going to go up to $60, $65 in 2024. And I could see Dara Kosher Shawi saying, listen, I've been captain of this uh, Titanic for so long, it's time to offload shares. So watch in 2024, Dara Koshoshawi start aggressively sell, selling off his shares. Now Lyft, let's talk about Lyft. Um, in 2022, um, I predicted that Logan Green and John Zimmer will be a thing of the past, right? In 2023, they brought in David Risher, same old. He's the same, same caliber, same non-competent individual as Logan Green and John Zimmer. They, 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 had a, they had a huge variety of CEOs they could have chosen from. They chose someone from the, the non-profit world. Um, and whatever he has been doing there in the first 200 days is not working, right? Lyft is stuck at 10. It hovers between 9 and 10, back to 9, back up to 10.50, I don't know, probably in the 10, 10 something today. But if this company doesn't get swallowed, if this company doesn't get swallowed by some massive corporate, maybe Amazon in 2024, I think there's going to be a massive, massive shakeup at Lyft. And a lot of heads will roll because the investors are just going to say, didn't work with Logan, didn't work with John Zimmer, didn't work with David Risher. So I have another prediction in this video on that one, right? Next one here, gangster man, Dara Koshoshawi. Um, investors, Wall Street love him. Most hated CEO probably in American history goes down as the top 10 most hated CEOs. Um, and, and I can easily back that up with thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of comments on social media. But I think by the end of 2024, uh, he will still be the captain of that ship. As I said before, he's going to sell more and more shares. I think 2024 is going to be his year to cash in, right? But I also think that the amount of times we've hammered this guy over the head, right? The amount of times we have circulated the stories in social media, the amount of times this channel or other channels or drivers or gig workers or food delivery drivers or ride share drivers have attacked this individual because of his poor treatment and the abuse of gig workers. I do think that the pressure on Dara Koshoshawi in 2024 is going to be insane. I, 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 the first changes apparently are coming. Talk is cheap, right? Sergio made many announcements in some good videos yesterday. 
Um, there were pictures of Sergio next to Darrell Koshashawi. So there are things happening. Are they finally, finally listening? I do think that this man's ears were completely non-functional right up to uh, November 2023. I think December 2023 and onwards, he actually is going to start listening because a lot of the shit this guy has done in the years prior uh, has not been working. So 2024 is his year. 2024, I think he's going to go for an ear checkup and unplug those ears and actually start listening because the suggestions we have been making on safety, on pay, on the changes, on, you know, the, 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 the presentations that show me the money club, they listen to him very, very carefully. Don't think they ignore him. And I'm going to make the craziest prediction in this video. Just hang tight. You're going to see the craziest prediction the riot chair professor has ever made. Tony West, Kamala Harris, right? This is his protection plan, right? This is Uber's protection plan, right? They have an insider. So if, if things don't quite go their way in a state or a city, it's a few phone calls, right? And a governor gets called and a mayor gets called, right? So this relationship, I think my prediction in 2024 is over, Um I think that if Joe Biden runs, he will be choosing a different running mate, right? And, and hopefully it's another lady, right? I'm, I'm all for a woman being in power there. I'm all for a woman even running the entire show, right? So, but I, I just think that uh, she will not be his running mate. And that's going to sever the ties between Tony West and that direct phone line that he has to the administration to the inside. So things are going to get very, very rocky after the 2024 elections because I strongly believe this tie is going to be severed. And I'm going to make a crazy prediction. Uh, Tony West is going to be out by 2024, right? Because incentivizing this clown, ladies and gentlemen, this man is incentivized to beat up drivers in lawsuits and in court. He gets paid. He makes millions and millions of dollars to beat up drivers in court. And that strategy, unfortunately, Tony West, is not going to work in 2024. And there's already cracks and ripples showing. So my prediction is, A, they won't have her to fall back on, and he is out. He is going to be replaced by some other chief legal officer. That's just my prediction. I could be wrong, and we'll reassess things at the end of 2024. Now, Sergio Evidian. Right, I made a video yesterday um, I know Sergio wasn't entirely happy about it, but uh, Sergio and I, here's the beauty. We are able to talk and we spoke for 40 minutes. And, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm small potatoes. I'm small fries compared to uh, the Rideshare Guy channel. Uh, I'm a one man show with 70,000 subscribers. Maybe my other eight channels bring me another 30,000. So maybe I'm on 100,000. I'm still nowhere close to the 165,000 that this group of people command, right? So Harry Campbell, uh, I would say, leader in the field as far as social media goes uh, with, with Rideshare. Obviously, he brought on the best of the best. This guy here single-handedly gave uh, Rideshare guy the boost. Um, I don't think at the end of 2024, Sergio is still going to be with the right chair guy, I think one of two things are going to happen. He's going to fly solo, right? Meaning he's going to start his own channel or even better. Um, I, I, and I've said this, I'm not just saying this now, but I've said this in the past. They are going to make him a three hundred to five hundred thousand dollar offer. And that's, by the way, Uber, if you're listening, that's the minimum this man is worth. Plus, you, you hand him some shares, right? But... I would hope and pray because I know this man and I know how he, and I can't say I know how he thinks, but he has a very strategic way of presenting things. He's very persuasive. He's very detailed. He's very accurate. And I, I bet you anything that the people over at Uber all watch the show me the money club. If they don't, they should because they will learn something every single time as I do. I could never make these detailed um, videos and, and of such, such high caliber um, 
tech and presentations involved, but he makes his point every single time. I know that uh, executives and, and investors fear him, fear him, right? Because he's broken one or two stories that have cost them an absolute fortune. But my prediction for 2024 is that if he doesn't fly solo, he will be working and, and he will be leading. He's not just going to be working. He'll be leading a big team at Uber. And what he should also do is he should lead their YouTube channel, right? He should actually, the uber.com YouTube channel, which which is, is, is the sort of the source, the media to the outside world, as well as maybe uh, Sergio from the inside making things better. There's no better hire. There's no better guy. And, and, and Daryl Koshoshawi, whoever it is, or executives, this is your man. This is your man that the drivers respect. This is a man that I respect. And we can bump heads and I can make a video about him and say, how dare you make a video next to Daryl Koshoshawi? You know, don't sell yourself out to Dr. Evil. No, he's not selling himself out. He's way smarter than that, ladies and gentlemen. So he's done big things, instrumental things for the community. Um, I myself, I operate very, very differently than Sergio. Um, I don't have the skill set that Sergio has. It's a specific skill set that is probably one of my weaknesses. Um, I, I like to negotiate always from a point of power. Um, Sergio has the power to change things methodically, right? Because he gets the respect. And once he has the respect, they say, wow, whatever you're presenting is working. We'll make the necessary changes. So I think in 2024, ladies and gentlemen, this is my prediction. He's going to be instrumental for drivers. And my, my attitude or my friendship uh, towards Sergio uh, will never change. Right. We can always disagree. Uh, he's a family man. He, he's got to make money. And at, at 2024, mark my words, is Sergio's time. Right. It's Sergio's time. So that's my one big prediction on that one. What's my next one here? Oh, if you don't know this sweet little face, um, Lindsay Llewellyn, she is the equivalent of Tony West. She took over uh, from Kirsten, um, I think in 2021. She's she's this young lady with a sweet face here. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. This is like literally lifts Dr. Evil number two. Even though she's got these blue eyes and sweet little smile, this is the one, right? Like Tony West, same game plan. You know, keep them in court, let them suffer. We'll pay them out as little as possible. This is the chief legal officer of Lyft. And again, do not be fooled by the sweet, sweet 16 looks here, right? Looks are very, very... Uh, deceiving here. Uh, cutthroat attorney, right? My question is, <coughs> after 2024, it's not going well for Lyft. Is she still going to be in there? Will they chop her? Will she even get a job down the line when they see, oh, that she worked all this time for Lyft and they really didn't achieve much, right? Your strategies, Lindsay, are not working. I will collect a, a, a big check from you. I've already collected from Uber and I will fight until you sign off on that check because otherwise I'm going to make you a promise right here, Lindsay. It's just who I am, right? you got to really study my DNA and where I come from. I will pound. It will rain. It will literally rain lawsuits because that's what I'm gearing up. I started one law firm uh, with, uh, with a bunch of paralegals and attorneys on Activation Hero, another one in Gig Rocket. We got gig lawyers to get, uh, together in record time. I work with 12 law firms. My channel is going to be the biggest recruiting machine for lawsuits against Uber and Lyft. Unless you, sweet face, want to change your ways. Try me. Try me all day long. You're going to lose millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. If the investors are listening to me now, phone this lady, work with this guy, smooth things out. But you do not fuck over the ride chair professor. Got it? Understood. Next one. Let's move on. So here we have, um, and again, I made this prediction in 2022. That's why it's sort of 
brought me to this. I, I looked at this picture and, you know, you, you then almost look like triplets, right? They almost look like if this dude would shave his head, they would look like triplets. They really would, right? You can't really tell them apart if this guy would shave his head. But in 2022, over and over again, go to my channel, right? M my channel, I approach things the business way. I, I come from, uh, I have my master's in business. I have my master's in psychology. I run my companies and this is my hobby. My YouTube, my, my, my fleet of cars, my channel, it's my hobby. It's like a little outlet for me to have fun. And I also turn the fun into dollars, into payment, right? All day long. You know the sound, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get paid. Now, all three of these guys do not know how to pay you, the driver, right? All of, all of these two guys on the outside literally fucked this company up, right? I mean, they took it from up here down to $7. And then they panicked and everybody is panicking. And then they suddenly realized after we said it a thousand times over, you got two drunken sailors on your boat. Throw them overboard, get rid of them, bring in some fresh talent, right? And that's exactly what happened in 2023. But they nom nominated this dude as their fresh talent. Now, in his heart, I, I, I can tell. And what he does for children and education, this is a good man. I'm not going to take it away from him. I will not take it away. This is not... Dr. Evil Dara Koshashawi. This is a kind and sweet and probably wonderful, wonderful family man and amazing father. I can genuinely feel that in my conversation with David Risha. But David Risha comes from the nonprofit world. A lot I know, a, 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 an area I, lo I know a lot about, and I also spoke to him because I work for the Nelson Mandela's Children Foundation for Nelson Mandela for three years. Um, very heavily uh, involved in their nonprofit. So I completely understand and appreciate and acknowledge where this man comes from, that he cares deeply about kids. He cares deeply about education. But on that lift Titanic, steering towards that uh, uh, massive iceberg, is this the captain that can replace the two drunken sailors and steer them past the iceberg and the answer is no. He does not understand the business. He thinks that going on on media or Bloomberg or doing his rounds with his smile is, is the most phenomenal Colgate smile. He thinks that this is what's going to win over drivers. He thinks that jumping in the car in Napa Valley, giving a couple of trips is like, hey, I'm, I'm part of you. I'm, I'm, I'm one of you. No, you're not. Right. You're absolutely not. And, and where, where, where I'm going to make a wild prediction in 2024 is that he is not going to last till December 2024. They will replace him. That's my prediction. I, I, know, I know I went in a, on a long detour, but David Risha, I think, in 2024 will be replaced, should be replaced. And that doesn't go anything from me as a person to his kind heart right? He's just not the man for rideshare, right? He does not understand the business. He thinks that going out there in the car, doing a couple of little Napa Valley, like I'm, I'm fully qualified. I can, no, you're not. You don't drive on DC streets or Maryland or Virginia or, or go through the pains that Floridians go through. You, you, you're not dialed in like we are, right? You're not dialed in because if you were dialed in, You'd make some big radical changes. Um, he's a Jeff Bezos guy. He's all about the consumer. And when he uses the word consumer, he always says, oh, the riders and the drivers. But he has done shit, S-H-I-T, for drivers. He has pondered to the riders. He's tried to engage in a price war with Uber, try to drop the prices, try to cozy up to the riders. It's been riders, 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 riders all day long. He has left drivers out of the equation. He has no intention to date to make some big, bold changes for drivers. So I say bye-bye. I say go back to the nonprofit world where you are a hero, right? Go back and do what you do best. Books, children's education, 
that is where the world needs, and I say this respectfully, Mr. Risha, that is where the world needs you, right? Your chance of making the 900 million or getting the stock up to $35 is not going to happen. Save face, get out. It's like a boxer. It's like, it's like um, a boxer that's 150 fights, right? Um, do you want to go down and be beaten up in the last few and be known for that? Like Tyson going down and losing, losing. Or do you want to get out at the top, right? I would say pack your bags, leave San Francisco, go back to the non-profit company. So there it is, my friends. Those are my bold and crazy predictions, just like I made this prediction here for 2023, actually 2024. And I would challenge. It's, it's almost like I'm putting a challenge out there to all the YouTubers. What are your predictions for 2023, 2024 when it comes to the gig world, right? Amazing Hustler, give us your predictions. Sergio, Harry, give us your predictions. Uber Jeep AZ, I've banged heads with you. Good father, I know he is. Make your predictions. All of those others, your driver Mike, Pedro, make your 2024 predictions. Let's compare at the end, right? 31st of December, 2024, who had the most right predictions? So I guess I could have made a longer video. We're at 31 minutes. You're sick and tired of listening to me. Go out there, my friends. Stay safe. You guys keep us safe. You guys need to pay us more money. Period. End of story. And uh, we shall see. 2024. Rock on, my friends. Stay safe.